I really don't want to be vlogging today because I'm actually really sick. Um, I don't know what's wrong with me yet. I'm waiting on some test results. It's like, a, they think I have the mumps. <laughs> I had the mumps when I was three. So, it's highly unlikely, but apparently it's possible. Anyway, it's not what I'm recording. And I have to talk as little as possible, which is very difficult for me. Um, <sighs> I'm really emotional. Um, I forgot how music can have that effect on me when it's something that I just love that much and I honestly I just cried watching um <laughs> I feel so stupid I feel like a proper little fangirl and I'm like when did fangirl become like this blanket term for any sort of appreciation you might have for someone's musical talents or videos or comedy or anything it's like why does it have to be a fangirl why can't it just be you know I really really think you're awesome and I'm I don't know it's just <laughs> I don't like thinking I don't like thinking of myself as a fangirl it's like you know I think of that as someone who's going to run at a taxi and start banging on its window because someone's inside it that's famous to them. Um, anyway, I was watching um, Mike Doughty, but I called him Mike Doughty for like 10 years? 15 years? Ooh, I'm old. Um, and then when I saw him live, once he pronounced his name, Doughty, and I was like, shit, I've been calling you the wrong thing like the entire time I've listened to your music. Um, whoops. And now I find it really hard to pronounce it the right way, so sorry if I do say it the wrong way all the time. Um, but he uh, just did this thing, and I've never watched one before, and it was via Ustream, which is... <laughs> I'm making that face because it's a new thing to me. I know it's been around for ages, but... <sighs> I don't know. I think I was suspicious because of, like, low-quality viewings in the part. I don't know why I'm holding a mug to my face. So, via... Um, another a friend I made online um, not quite sure how to pin it down it's either Vine or Twitter but anyway it's now YouTube and um, that's Marconi Baloney and he's got a channel on YouTube you should go watch that now or well, not now wait until they're finished um, <laughs> he now works at this radio called uh, Kink Radio in Portland and um, they've got this thing that they I'm explaining this really badly. They have this thing they do where they get artists to come play at a thing called the Bing Lounge, which is another thing. So there's Ustream, the Bing Lounge, and yeah, anyway, they're all kind of, you know, they work together. So Mike Doty <laughs> just played live at the Bing Lounge, and it's like midday in Portland, but for me in Toronto, it's 3 p.m. All it was. Um, and it's so funny because I'm sitting here watching this live thing happen with like possibly <sighs> honestly it's like he's my number one favorite songwriter it's yeah people don't come close to that for me so that was like I wasn't expecting to get emotional about it <laughs> I feel like such a dwar his voice does something to my brain that makes it cry. I don't know why. It's not a sad cry. It's like a... <sighs> so I don't know what it is. Just get emotional, okay? Music makes people emotional. <laughs> For all different reasons. I was just really happy that I could be part of it without being there. Because obviously I can't get to Portland like really easily. It's far away. Um, which is unfortunate because I do want to visit. Um, my point was... Um, <sighs> What was my point? That was awesome and it gave me just all the feels and I wasn't expecting it but it was a really nice way to um, start my day at 3pm. I'm ill, okay? I might not sound it but that's because I'm using my good voice recording this. Um, it'll go in about half an hour. The minute I start talking it just ruins everything. I'm getting vloggers on, Beth. <laughs> My arm.
arm really hurts. We've coined the term vlogger's arm. Um, yeah, not much else to say. It was just really, really awesome. Um, I'm a bit sad it was three songs. So I was thinking it was going to go for half an hour. And I was like, ah, you know, so I spent like about five minutes of that tweeting furiously about how awesome it was that I was watching it and not just concentrating on what was happening like a dick because <laughs> I can't help myself I'm like I must tweet this to the world the world needs to know how happy I am right now ugh need to live in the moment Jess <laughs> tweet after the event <laughs> it's okay you don't need to do everything right now ugh anyway yeah I'm raising my voice way too high for what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be resting my voice and not seeing people, which is really getting old. I can tell you that. I haven't even been to Starbucks for like days. Dude. And I keep reiterating that I'm sick. I'm gonna leave it there for now and this will probably run into another day's vlog because obviously, like I've said enough times, I'm sick, so I'm not going to be able to talk very much today. So, yeah! Um, see you whenever I next decide to press that little red button. <laughs> You're being a cutie. falling off. Where is that? Oh, now you're falling off, buddy. <laughs> Hi guys. It is that sounded really weird. What's wrong with my voice? Oh yeah, I'm sick. I've been sick <laughs> for like it's not funny. Um, for like two weeks. I'm feeling a little bit better than I was. They thought it was more likely to be glandular fever, which I did have when I was a teenager. So it could be that. Who knows? Anyway being a bit of a bit of a rebel and going against doctor's orders because they won't fucking tell me what's wrong with me and they were like yeah you better stay away from people stay indoors and all that kind of stuff but as I'm feeling a you know a little bit better like I'm not in bed let's put it that way <laughs> so we decided that we would go and find our friends and have a game night hmm this makes me very excited that's the kind of stuff I like to do I don't care if you're judging me right now game nights are awesome we um <laughs> we ordered this on the internet <laughs> I'm really excited and I'm jumping um yeah I have wanted this since it appeared on the internet and um we have not played it yet because we only just got it and um, hopefully we're going to play that tonight or we might play something else or I don't know I'm just really excited and uh, yeah it'd be nice to see other humans because I've been really bored being inside for so long and obviously I've gone out for like a walk around the block and stuff but oh my god cabin via so hopefully I will take you along with me that, that was me walking Everything's feeling really wintry and Christmassy and autumnal just because of the lights. Oh wow, I'm showing up like loads, brilliant. We are at my friend's house and we're gonna go play some games. I've been singing all day today. I've been singing at the cat, singing at myself, singing at the man shape, I don't know. Let's hope I don't sing at them. Although they probably won't mind. <laughs> Daisy dog, Daisy dog. Being a little slatty dog. I'm sorry, you're not a slut, you're beautiful. You're a beautiful, beautiful girl. Doggy. I'm losing. I haven't even won one. I can document the face. It's like a robber face. It's funny. <laughs> Bad things are afoot. They're digging up the road. Hi, it's Sunday now and I didn't really film a lot last night because I had a beer and apparently that's enough to get me drunk now because of the medication I take and I felt very very ill so <laughs> the the night was brilliant I didn't win the game and it turns out I'm a bit of a sore loser <laughs> that's the best game best game ever cards against humanity I keep calling it Cards of Humanity, and that's not right. Anyway, yeah, go go buy that game. You will not regret it. 
if you have the same kind of filthy sense of humour as I do, or we do. All four of us found it hilarious. It's brilliant. Good times. Uh, we're actually in High Park and someone's honking their horn really annoyingly. And um, we're trying to wait for this trackless train. I would call it a dotto train. That's what it's called in England. It's a little train that potters around. We're going to try and get us better background, I think. That's not much better, but we'll do that anyway. Um, I'm not pointing it at you. We're on a bench that's not attached to the floor, so he's wobbling. Anyway, we've been sitting here for about half an hour and it hasn't turned up. And obviously there's no train times, it's a fucking dotto train. But they run every half an hour and it hasn't turned up and it's been half an hour, so I'm a little bit worried that it's got lost in the park somewhere or it's not running. But I think they would have covered up, like, can you see, meh, God, and crap at this. Okay, that thing there, that post there, it's like the bus stop and um, the train stop there. And yeah, there's no notice on it saying it's out of service and I assume they would put some kind of thing over it or something. There's no reason why it shouldn't be running because the weather's fine. It's like, you know, I don't know why I always need to show you this guy to prove my point, but I do. Um, <laughs> I don't know what this fucking thing is. Oh God, we've got the subway here though because to get to the right area of this park because the park is huge and I get really travel sick and um, especially on subways and buses. Streetcars, I'm so much better on, but yeah. So we got the subway here and I just got off and was almost very, very ill. And now I'm about to get on another kind of train. Not sure this is a good idea. Um, I'm kind of trying to talk the other half out of it, but we've come out here and it's not exactly quick to get here. So I don't know how much longer we're going to give it. I keep kind of looking out going, where is it? Like it's Santa's sleigh. That's what it reminds me of though. It has this little driver with a hat on. It's really cute. I'll show you if it turns up. It's, it's not like a tiny train. It's quite big actually. Um, if any of you happened to be following me on Instagram this time last year, which might be some of you, like maybe two of you, I'm not sure, uh, you might have seen a video of me on the trackless train laughing my ass off because I found it so funny. <laughs> Somehow we have ended up on a train in High Park, a little dotto type of train. It's fucking hilarious because it's the last one of the season and it's really funny. <laughs> it's too shaky. <laughs> I'm scared. We're going down the hill. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, you can't say this isn't a random adventure. <laughs> oh, that jogger looks terrified. <laughs> I don't know why. I was just having one of those days where anything was funny and the fact that I was on this train jiggling up and down was highly amusing to me so yeah can't, haven't really got a lot else to say um, just gonna try and wait for this train that probably might not turn up and then this will be a really boring portion of the vlog because you'll just see me going home still not here the train's still not here I'm beginning to lose hope it's been like 40 minutes. Yes, I waited a whole 10 minutes <laughs> before filming again. I'm bored now. Why am I filming this? The train is still not here, people. It's been 50 minutes and the man shape has got so bored, he's resorted to trying to shop for a winter coat for me. And unfortunately, when you look like this, <laughs> not that that really shows you much, when you're festively plump, shopping for a coat is not easy. I just realised I was just filming his legs and nothing else and I'm like, why, why am I talking to you uh, with his legs? Um, yeah, shopping for coats is really freaking difficult um, for winter specific here because trust me when I say a British winter coat does not cut it. I have spent the last two winters freezing. I mean, freezing my ass off. Uh, we were just discussing like because it's really cold today like when I say really cold it's only like 12 degrees that's not even cold and that's plus 12 degrees Celsius I know other people think in Fahrenheit I can't think in Fahrenheit um <laughs> what the fuck was I saying yeah I spent the last two winters I mean both of us so cold but we got really ill one day and I was like I think I've got hypothermia you know we were searching for a thermometer we now have to <laughs> we know where they are uh, we were so ill I said to the man shape, um, I said, I think I recorded a video from last year on the day, the day of doom, the day of cold, where it was the Christmas market last year, and it was just a specific um, 
load of bad luck. It took us about an hour and a half to get somewhere that's about 20 minutes from our house because we got on a bus to keep warm and the bus going the wrong way if you know what I mean because it does a loop so we thought we'll just get on it and just go in a loop because the other way was going to take like wait for ages so it was like the same bus we thought and we got on it and then it stopped and it said this is the end of the line you're gonna have to get off and wait for one and we were like are you satan it's minus 25 degrees outside and it feels colder because it's windy seriously you're gonna chuck us off he's like i'm not i'm gog you know i've got to go back to the i don't know places where bus sleeps bus sleeps buses sleep and yeah so we got thrown off and then we had to wait for half an hour oh it was just a nightmare i'm not going to tell you the rest because that'll be dull um it'd probably be more interesting than hearing me talk about waiting for a train that's not going to come um it really isn't going to come it's been too long there's no dotto train farm for us i'm pissed off because on the website it's supposed to be here and i'm not an idiot i did check first that they were still running this season and everything but maybe the train driver's ill i don't fucking know but yeah i just keep filming random bullshit because nothing's happening and we're just sitting on the same bench going I think we might as well just go for a walk bastard fucking thing hasn't turned up I'm going back to the actual stop because there's a twitter account for the trackless train <laughs> so I'm going to tweet at it angrily no I'm going to tweet it and ask it where the fuck it is and then say are you going to be here next weekend do you think we've been here like honestly it's 7pm now it's ridiculous it's so not coming <sighs> and it's only four fifty. Four dollars fifty. It's such a bargain. High Park trains. Well I definitely wasn't searching that, I was searching trackless trains, trackless trains high park. Um I'm going to shame them. I'm not shame them exactly. <laughs> Is that gonna come out the right way around? Because it's not coming out the right way around when I'm looking at it. Interesting. <laughs> okay, I tweeted them. I haven't got a tweet back, I don't expect to get one. Um, there's all this shit and I'm going to show you because apparently I'm obsessed with feces. <laughs> the reason it's funny is because I was reading this sign as standing like right there and I was saying to my other half, I was like, am I standing in shit like without looking? He's like, no, but you're about to. And then he goes, careful, there's some behind you. <laughs> I'm surrounded by shit, literally surrounded by shit. <laughs> He, he didn't hear me. It's okay. Shh. I really see it this time. <laughs> Gary, the train's coming. Look. Uh, I tricked him and now he's not going to fall for it. God, I'm going to have to come back another day. It sucks. There's nothing to do here. Amazing. Hasn't been much cat cam today, if any. What's she doing up there? No, he's on top of like the tallest bookcase. And he really freaked me out. <laughs> I was watching a film. <laughs> getting a bit emotional over a stupid film. And then I turned around and I was just like, holy shit. And he was staring right at me. Now he won't look. Look, this is very pretty. <laughs> Just so out of focus. Oh, there you are. Yeah, that's that's how much my hand wobbles. Now YouTube will offend me and ask if I want it stabilised. Fuck off. I'm playing this awesome game called Charm King. And I love it because I'm obsessed with puzzles. It's really cool. I got stuck on Candy Crush like months ago and haven't given up, but I'm not playing it. <laughs> Because it pissed me off too much. This is better. This is my newest one. I have like a massive collection. Let me show you because that's so interesting. See? I just tried to press the sc that screen to focus this screen. What a derp. These are all my games. Um, I can't play the minion one yet because it won't load. But the rest of them are pretty awesome. So, I was going to do a whole video on games one day. I don't know if that would be really dull or really interesting, but it might just happen anyway because I'm going to do what I want. So, um, yeah, we um, came home and on the way home I discovered <laughs> I was getting a migraine, which was a lovely surprise. Um, so I've just been doing that all night, doing a migraine. Um, no, just been <sighs> trying to do all the things you do when you have a migraine. And I've actually taken my... <laughs> 
blue strip off my head just to film this because I was ashamed. Um, yeah, there was no, no Dotto train to be had in the park and I haven't been tweeted back by the Dotto Trains Twitter account, so I hope it's okay, I hope it's not ill, I hope we get to go on it next weekend or something, because it was a thing that I wanted to do this, um, I guess this autumn, I wanted to do it in the autumn again, not the summer, so I don't know why I'm stressing, because it's only the beginning of September, and they run them on the weekends till the end of October, so I don't know why I'm all like, huh, about it, but... It was fun. I wanted to do something fun this weekend. I know I already did something fun last night, but I wanted to do something else fun. Just the two of us. And uh, it didn't happen. But it was okay. We were discussing it and we were like, it was quite nice just to sit in the park. Sit on the bench. <laughs> and I was like, that's so lame. I'm so happy just sitting on a bench. But it's because I was still. Because it wasn't travel sick when I was sitting on the bench. And then we had a god-awful journey home because we decided instead of getting the subway home... We'd do this convoluted journey of getting, this is going to be really dull, but I'm going to tell you anyway, uh, approximately two minute story, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, we got the subway, like three stops, got off, and then the plan was to get a bus down, about four stops, very important to know the numbers, and then get a tram all the way back to where we live, which is like 20 minutes, 25 minutes because it's so much nicer to be on a tram and look out the window and see all the lights and all the pretty stuff and we were like, we can pretend it's the, the train that we didn't get around the park, haha <sighs> yes, that's what we class as entertainment, it's free <laughs> well, you know, we have monthly metro passes so it's included, I guess, it's free to us um, and it all just got so fucked up oh guys, oh god uh, we got the subway, we got off the subway and then there were no buses there were just no buses for half an hour, so we were like, shit, we're going to have to walk, because it's like, you're just going to get there quicker. So we walked and kind of underestimated how far it was. So by the time we got to the, where the tram stop was, the fucking bus had, like, caught up with us. And, like, the man shape, he was like, yeah, but we still beat it. I was like, yeah, by, like, 30 seconds. But then I didn't really want to stand still for half an hour anyway. I don't think it was half an hour. I think it came early. But, um... Yeah, I'm always really pissed off when that happens, even though I'm like, yeah, I've got some exercise, got some steps in, you know. Oh, that's what I can... I just looked for my phone. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm holding it. I'm filming on it. And I'm looking for my phone to show you something. I'm so special. I have a, um, a pedometer step counter thing built into my phone. It just came with it. And... Um, yeah, today I actually hit my goal of 10,000 steps, and it's this kind of implemented goal. You don't get a choice. They just think everyone has to do the same, and I never hit their goal. Never. I think I did it one time since having this phone. Seriously, no. Not going to happen. It equates to 10 kilometres. Kilometres? Kilometres? I never say that right. I, say, I, I work in miles in my head, so God. But I don't usually actually hit the, the target, and then it goes off with this sound, like, in a really quiet, embarrassing place, like a train carriage, and then it'll go, ba -ba -ba, like that, and gives you a little gold medal, and you're like, oh, you know, they think you've done something wonderful, and you're like, it's just my pedometer. <laughs> it's really annoying. So I hit that because we had to, we walked so far, which is good, but unfortunately I was getting the migraine as we were in the park so I wasn't happy and then I was walking a lot and getting really hot and then I ran out of water so I didn't have anything to drink and things just got worse and worse and then the tram didn't come for another and I didn't have any fucking painkillers I'd run out forgotten to buy some that's not something I ever do so that was weird and then we had to go buy some painkillers. I didn't have any in the pharmacy. We had to go to another pharmacy. This is so dull. Why am I telling you? This is terrible. I'm just rambling off like I normally would. This is how I would talk to you if, if you were sitting right here. This is the story I would tell. Take it or leave it, I guess. I'm going to finish it there. Unless I can find the other cat. That'll be toodaloo for now. Toodaloo. I never say toodaloo. Um, that will be it. And yeah, thanks for watching as always. Uh, I really appreciate your comments and support and all that good stuff. And yeah, hope to see you again soon. Bye. Oh my God, Friends just came on the TV. I'm still not going to bed yet.